It depends on what you name a crisis, I think. Um, if you, yes, we have, we have had several cri crises, uh, big ones and smaller ones. Uh, if I look at how things are normally going and then things are changing due to something, so there's a structure and the structure, structure is changing, then uh, we, you can name it already a crisis, I think. Um, and yes, we have many of those, but also, one or two big crises where we needed to change um, yeah, the whole application um, or something like that. So yes, we have many, many small and a few bigger ones. One of the bigger crises that we had is that we needed to change a partner in our partnership um, due to lack of uh, understanding together and uh, we didn't see uh, a good qualitative partnership running when this partner stayed included in the partnership um, and uh, so we needed to stop the collaboration with this partner. Um, we talked with this partner beforehand uh, to, to discuss several times the issues that were going on um, but then uh, didn't find a solution. So um, as, as lead partner Together with the, the, partners, the other partners in the partnership, we made a decision to uh, stop the collaboration with this one partner. Then informed also the national agency and asked them what do we need to do, how to solve this, uh, can we do something else that, that we still forgot, so do you have some recommendations about how to, because I expect that they have, the NA know more about uh, different solutions than we do, uh, because they have faced more um, partnerships already uh, with probably some crises. So that's what one of the things that we have done. And then the whole procedure starts with uh, finalizing the, the, the partnership with one, um, one partner and starting with a new partner. So two, two streams of, of communication are starting, so one finishing part and one starting part. And um, also that didn't combine really because we, it, it took quite a while before we could start with a new partner. So we lost there, uh, I think four, four months of having no partner um, doing the work. So it infects the, the partnership and the, the quality of the, the, the things that we wanted to, uh, to succeed with. All the other organizations in, in Europe who are working with uh, strategic or cooperative partnerships, uh, we also faced the COVID situation where uh, in projects, in partnerships, where we planned a lot of traveling and meeting with each other to, to grow the partnership, uh, couldn't happen. Uh, including one training that we uh, would have had physically in a, in, in, in a country. We changed that to an online training, uh, which we were not used to do yet as much as the, the physical trainings. Um, so that had a lot of extra work, time, budget um, in it that we needed to, to solve, find solutions for. Uh, but the, the very positive uh, thing that came out is that we saw how beneficiary the online trainings can be and um, that we still one of the things that we still have from that uh, crisis is that due to the online um, training that we created we have now also a lot of uh, videos produced that we still can use use during um, in the next projects uh, that we still have to inform other partners, uh, people we work with. And um, so we gained also a lot about this crisis. So that is one of the things, um, because of the crisis, you need to think out of the box and um, that's helpful. So we always try to see um, the opportunities that it's also bringing. Always before we start with an application, we also talk about what are the risks that we can face in this partnership. 
Um, how can we solve them? Is there kind of management structure to, to, pro to um, have an overview of the risks that, that are happening? Um, talking about, so in our projects we all, all, always have uh, online monthly meetings with the partners. So talking or checking in these monthly meetings what the, the risks are. And um, that is one thing, um, find a way to evaluate the risks that are happening. So to see are the things that we have been doing to solve, uh, were they the right things? And what can we learn from it for uh, next situations? And then ch sharing that with partners. So you can also in next application rounds or next situations um, learn from it and, and, and do it in a better way. What I realized for me uh, personally is that for me the relationship is important and the openness is in communication. I always try to think about um, is this a, a situation that I need, need to share with partners already? Um, do I bother partners already with the crisis situation? And when do I share the crisis? At which, which moment? Um, but then when you share the crisis, it is very helpful when the partners are um, also responding in a way that is helpful. Um, so coming with solutions. Uh, um, for me, it's also good to hear that I have approached the situation in the right way or did my best. Uh, that's really a personal thing, probably. But um, yeah, for me, the communication and the, and the relationship is the transparency, the finding the balance, um, hearing from partners how they would solve the crisis, um, and then doing it together. So in an agreed circumstance, is helpful so that you all agree about this is how we are going to solve it these are the solutions these are the the things that will not happen due to the um, due to the crisis and we all agree with that it, it because it will influence uh, situations in a bad way and in a positive way the communication is open and effective so not blaming uh, but but helping each other to find the solutions and also say for this case in this situation for our organization it will work out in situation a b c d and for the other organization in a different way so um, creating understanding what the effect will be for different organizations and then probably each organization can also find their own solution but then if you know it from each other that's helpful uh, then you, when you understand uh, you can also find this this common uh, this common uh, solution that is that can be a win-win or a synergy for all the partners involved.